With Python and the required packages properly installed, let's now create our first Python script. Note that this virtual environment PySteve is installed on this machine under the folder C users Steve. So any files or scripts that I'll want to execute using this virtual environment will need to be located in that folder. To create a Python script, begin by opening a text editor. For this script, we'll simply import the packages that we previously installed, and assuming no errors are thrown by Python, we'll print all packages imported properly to the screen. When saving the Python script, it's important that the file extension is defined as .py. Notice that this Python script file is located in the C user Steve folder. Now let's go ahead and execute the Python script. In the Anaconda prompt, we'll type Python test.py and hit the enter key. We see that the script ran with no errors, all packages were imported properly, and the text was properly printed on the screen. Now let's run the sanitycheck.py script. Begin by heading over to the course GitHub page and downloading all of the files in the repository. Once the zip file has finished downloading, be sure to unzip and move all of the course files into the active Python directory. In this example, that'll be C user Steve. With all the files unzipped, let's take a look at the sanitycheck.py script. This script imports the packages we'll be using this semester, then prints all packages imported properly to the screen. The script then reads in a JPEG image and displays that image to the screen. A resized version of the original image is also displayed to the screen. And finally, an image is written to file that is the resized version of the image. As was the case with our test.py script, 
head over to your Anaconda prompt and execute the sanitycheck.py script by typing python sanitycheck.py. Be sure to hit any of the keys on the keyboard to advance the images. This is due to the cv2.wait key calls in the sanitycheck.py script. Notice also that the test image.jpg file has been created and saved in the active Python folder. 